<clears throat> hey guys, what's up? It's me, Norfan16, Retro Kid on YouTube, and a while back, I think some of you might remember, that I picked up a gravity gun from a undisclosed friend of mine. Hint, hint, he's a bat. Um, so, for the funsies of it, I'm gonna go ahead and... Ah, hey, where the hell's my suit? Well, I was gonna test it on my kitty over here, and... This joke is getting old. Turn it off. Now. Alright, alright. Be right back. Kitty! Is it on? Yeah, dude, it's on. Is it on? Alright, alright! Henshin already. Got it, I got it. Thank you for remembering how to spell it, Jordan. <laughs> Ugh. What the hell's the deal? Like... Alright, hang on, let me say it properly. Henshin! <laughs> Seriously, what's what's your deal, dude? I, I thought we were cool. I talked about J Justice League War. I told you told you guys it was a cool movie. And my audience too over here. And, and and I was just about to get ready to talk about um Justice League animated. <laughs> Trust me, dude. You don't need to talk about that. Okay, why then? Who could have possibly ordered you to come down here and kick my ass? So you are aware of League rules. Well, I am also aware that you have to have someone. It's him, isn't he? Yeah. It was him. Hi. Remember me? Yeah, I remember you. I got this, Jordan. Thanks. Alright, what do you want? I think you know damn well what I want. Sure. Okay, I was kind of sort of avoiding this, but here are my thoughts on the new Batman suit. Uh, on Ben Affleck's portrayal for the upcoming Batman vs. Superman sequel. Can I detention to at least show them why it's awesome? Yeah, go ahead. Alright. Alfred, keep an eye on him. Yes, so I have the shotgun. Wait, uh, shotgun? He was like, whoa, okay, okay, okay. You better like it, or so help me Ben Affleck, I will find you, and I'll Liam Neeson the crap out of you because I can't upstage him. Wait, seriously? Yeah. Seriously. Now talk about the damn suit. Well, before I do, let me get to talk about the Batmobile itself. Uh, it's very sleek, it's uh, definitely like a lot of the DVD movies have recently have been over for the last couple of years. And, um, it being a, a half that, half tumbler kind of thing, probably keeps it at the Nolan fans at bay, myself included. And all the while, I really didn't have any problems with the suit's overall appearance. Uh, it could have done way worse, like, uh, just be a rehash of the tumbler or something like that. But, let's get to the main attraction. I'm gonna go off character, and hopefully you as well. I am ready. <clears throat> so yeah, um, basically the arms are kind of on the same level as this like True Heroes Batman I reviewed in the past. Link in the description. Um, it's a little bulky, probably because it's a Batman's reaction to what's been going on in Man of Steel, which is starting to become the popular idea around, I think IGN. I don't know if it's every other news story or everyone who's kind of theorizing the the plot at this point for Justice League tryouts. I am not calling it Batman vs Superman. I will call it Man of Steel title when it's actually titled come 2015 or 16, wherever the hell it's coming out. Rants aside, at least on the scheduling, I do indeed love the suit. The symbol, as you probably have noticed, is a little bit more like Frank Miller's Dark Knight Returns. Uh, I personally recommend the two movies. Um, both parts are representative of the book. Uh, I, re I recommend the book as well if you can handle the pacing of Frankie Boy back in the day. Um, just to let you be clear, he wasn't apeshit nuts until I think after Sensei. That's the popular theory around, so I'm not entirely sure. What I am sure is that this suit is... <laughs> I'm not I'm not gonna lie, it's badass. It's by the numbers Batman. It looks to have some worn like scratches all over it, like it's been through a couple of uh, gang... Uh, Hits, like him taking down a bunch of gangs, uh, Falcone maybe, I don't know. Uh, for those who don't know, Falcone was one of the big mob bosses back in the day. And if you watch Batman Begins, you know that he took him down pretty damn easily. Um, 
from what we know from the plot so far is that he's supposed to be an older Batman. Like, he's he's had a couple of years, he's took down a couple of villains in the past, and knows how to handle himself. Not just have a straight up, like, zero year kind of problem all over again. Um, with that said, I think there's a colored, um, photo, photo floating around. I don't know where to get it. Uh, I wish I could tell you, um, but I did see it, and I am going to tell you right now, it is not bad. It brightens out what's going to end up being in the movie, and honestly, I can't wait to see it. So, let's get, let's get back into the plot. Ready, team, break. <laughs> So, was that sufficient enough? Yeah, you're good. I'm gonna go now. I gotta wait another year to go up against the captain. Oh, dude, trust me. You're gonna be fine. Really? You know what people are calling it. It's a prize fight. Me and Clark have to team up against him. Hey, at least you're not teaming up against the Avengers. Good point. I you know, one day he's gonna do that thing behind my back like he always does, and I'm just gonna go... Well, son of a bitch. Anyway, uh, jokes aside, uh, this was Nerf N16 Retro Kid on YouTube. And this was uh, Breaking Batman vs. Superman News. Take care, guys, and later.